I'm gonna get on here, open a reserve. Forget it. Uh, I'm not expecting anything from the reserves. They usually give charm. Wow. L literally what I was about to say. They usually just give you charms and stickers and some other bull. Forget it. I'm probably just gonna open the second one. Hey, I got the Stingray. That's a new weapon. I mean, I'm not really interested because I know the gun sucks. But, uh, I'll make a video for you guys using this weapon. It's probably gonna be a pain because I know the weapon is garbage. Oh, what's up guys? This is back at again with another video. And in this video, I'm not gonna do a very long intro. I'm probably gonna have like a few seconds or so. But yeah, in this gameplay, I uh, was just using the Stingray. I unlocked it and I uh, was just talking about my thoughts about the Stingray and what what's wrong with the weapon and why it's bad because like there's so many issues with it but i'm not even gonna get into that in the intro because you guys are gonna see it in the video because i'm gonna be talking literally the whole time about the gun over some gameplay i was i also did but yeah i'm gonna talk and explain uh like about the stingray and why you shouldn't waste your weapon bribes and stuff on it and save them for the m16 or the argus if you want it for my xbox players because we are about to get the update in like two three days I'm talking about the Argus, not the M16. But yeah, anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new. Don't forget to slap on the post notification so you don't miss the latest and the greatest videos. And uh, I'll see you later, guys. Peace. Alright, guys. Um, I'm going to keep it real with you about this, this weapon that I have obtained through reserve. This gun... Is the worst gun to ever exist in Call of Duty history and I'm not joking like for real it's the worst gun to ever exist and yes if you guys didn't notice it is the stingray this gun is buns that is the nicest word I can actually use for the stingray buns because this thing is horrible the, like I'm not even gonna hold you it's the worst thing to ever step foot in Call of Duty the reason I said this is because I spent 15 excruciating hours leveling this thing up and it is the worst thing to step foot in Call of Duty. Like I can use any gun in this game with zero attachments and go good with it. You use this gun with every attachment besides the operator mod and including rapid fire, it is worse than any gun existing in Call of Duty BO4 right now. I'd rather go around and pull a Floyd on somebody or Mike Tyson, two piece in people, dodging them like GTA type style, than use the Stingray without the operator mod. Like the gun was on, it, it's, look at this, do you see that? Alright, and the reason I say this truly is because the Stingray, it has no joke. I'm going to tell you all the problems the Stingray has. It has bullet registration delay. It has bullet travel delay. When you shoot a bullet out of the like out of the gun, it comes out half a second later after you pull RT or LT or or whatever you have your shooting trigger as. And it also has registration issues. Like the gun has so many issues, it's ridiculous, right? And I'm not making this up. If you have the Stingray, pull your RT or your R2 button. And watch how late the bullets come out of the gun. You will see about a half a second later that after you pull the, your actual trigger. So that's one issue. Then you have the bullet travel delay to where even when someone is less than 5 meters in front of you and you shoot directly at them or barely in front of them, you still miss. Like that. I, like, alright. I'm not even going to get into that, but yeah. And then you have the travel delay. It takes about, I don't know, 12 years to hit your opponent. I can literally watch like every season of The Walking Dead and every season of The Flash and my bullet wouldn't even be halfway traveled to the opponent I shot at three years ago. Like, the gun has extreme delay. It's just complete buns. And the reason I'm telling you guys this, because I don't want you guys to waste your weapon bribes on the Stingray. I'm serious. Don't even use your weapon bribe. Save it for the M16. If you happen to get it through a normal reserve, good for you. That's what happened to me. You, Me, I usually just go around maybe one or two reserves a day. Because sometimes you get dumb luck. Which is explains right there. Like the video that I'm going to have in the beginning. It explains it. I usually just do that and I got the Stingray. 
So I was using it, and I knew the gun was trash because my friend had it, and I was using it without the operating mod. It was the worst thing to ever step foot in COD. But I was trying to see... I was testing a theory to see if you don't have a weapon unlocked as a level up, and it doesn't. So, uh, if you guys are using your, your friend's peacekeeper or his stingray to level it up because you don't have it, don't do it. You're wasting your time. It doesn't level up. And another thing. When I had, like, I just unlocked the operator mod. I'm going to make a video for you guys on that, like, in a day or two. I just unlocked the operator mod, and I didn't even notice... But the last video I made when I picked up uh, my friend's operator mod, uh, Stingray, I was wondering why the bullets didn't explode off of impact of walls and other materials. And I thought I was tripping. I was like, was it ever like that? So I check up like um, all the updates and the nerfs and stuff, and it didn't say anything about explosive rounds off impact. And I'm like, huh, maybe I was tripping. Until yesterday, I saw a video come out of someone explaining about the stingray and the and all the glitches and the secret nerfs and I was like hmm let me check this out and the first thing I see right when I start the video is him explaining that the operator mod was secretly nerfed and he showed from a month ago before it was nerfed that it exploded off of impact and I was like I was right because I could have swore that it did explode off of an impact when I picked it up oh, like a month ago it exploded when I shot walls and everything. It was actually good. You can use splash damage by shooting the floor and killing your opponents. But now, when you shoot it, you have to hit your opponent for it to explode. So I thought I was tripping the whole time, but I was actually right. When you use the operator mod now, you have to hit your opponent for it to explode. So it's not as good as it used to be. You can't splash damage your opponent. Which kind of sucks. Because the Stingray is only usable with the operator mod. Like, it literally is. When I used every attachment, it, it was complete buns. And another thing, do not use long barrel. I'm serious. Don't use long barrel. The description is false advertising. I thought, all right, maybe this gun will be better with long barrel because it says it hits the opponents faster and everything. No, boo-boo. It is buns. It is worse with it than without it. You shoot directly at someone, you miss. You shoot barely in front of them, you miss. You shoot at their arm at the direction they're running, you miss. You shoot way in front of them, you miss. And I was wondering, what the hell is going on? Like, am I fighting uh, Obito Uchiha from Naruto? Like, am I in an episode of Dragon Ball Z and they're using an after image on me or something? Like, what is going on here? Why are my bullets not registering no matter what I do? I, I couldn't comprehend it. Like, 9 out of 10 times you would miss your rounds with long barrel on. And I couldn't, ex I couldn't tell why. But after I took long barrel off, my shots actually started to land more often, even though the gun still has registration issues. They started to land a lot more often. I don't know if long barrel has its issues or what, but I can't really explain it to you. And another thing, when you play with a friend, check your ping. If you have a high ping, don't you can't have them host because this gun's already bad enough with your own host. Even when you have like a 20, 30 ping, which is what I had, it still sucks. But when I have my friend's host, my ping is usually like 80 and above. Don't do it. I mean, I was still trying to, I was still dumping with it a little bit, but it, it was horrible. No matter what you do, you're going to feel pain when leveling this weapon up. So, uh, I'm just trying to give you guys a heads up. Do not waste your weapon bribes on this. Save it for the M16 or if you want the Argus. For the Xbox players, because we're about to get the update in like two days. About two, three days. So, uh, if you want the Argus, alright, just use your, well, save your reserves and do the non-dupe, uh, non-dupe crates. And try to get all the Mark IIs you can out of that before you open the weapon bribe so you can increase your chance of the weapon you want to receive. But don't do it for the Stingray. I promise you, you're going to regret it. You, you might not even level up the weapon fully unless you care about... If you don't care about KD or win-loss ratio, you'll probably level it up. But if you do care about those, you're not going to level it up. The only reason I did it, it was for a video for you guys. If Trust and believe. If I was not posting videos for you guys, I would have not leveled up that Stingray. That thing would have stayed at level 2. After I used it the first time with no attachments. Well, actually, when I first used it with just Reflex, I was actually dumping I went like 63 and 2. And then after I unlocked Reflex and Stock, 
I went uh, 85 and 3. And I was like, yeah, I'm dumping with it. The next day, completely changed. I don't know what happened. I was still going positive because I, I can't go negative. I will not allow that to happen. But I wasn't going as positive as I usually do. It, it was just, it was complete buns. Like, it was, that's the nicest word I can use without, you know, uh, getting a strike or terminated or anything like that. So I'm just going to stick with complete buns. So yeah, like, don't waste your weapon bribes or use all your reserves for the Stingray. Now, if you don't have the Peacekeeper, go ahead and go for it. Go for that. That's a weapon worth using. But do not go for the Stingray. I promise you, you're going to regret it. Unless you have 15 hours and stuff like that to level it up to unlock the Operator mod. That's not as good as it used to be. It's still decently strong, but it's not as good as it used to be. Like, they shouldn't have really touched it. The reason I say that is because the gun, like I said, how it has bullet registration delay, bullet travel delay, and it has, like, a delay when the, the bullet comes out of the weapon, like, a half a second later, and it has hit registration delay. Like, all that is the reason why I said it should have kept explosion off of impact instead of just explosion off of player impact. Because before, at least you're able to shoot the floor when you know they're going to hit the corner and still kill them. Instead of waiting for them to hit the kill, like the corner and like missing a shot or two because of the registration is horrible with the weapon. I, I just unlocked the operator mod. I haven't used it yet. So I'm going to make a video for that. I just hope it's still as good as it used to be when I picked up my friends when it exploded off of impact a long, long time ago. Because that thing was just hilarious to use i i picked it up recently it was all right it was still pretty good i just didn't like how it didn't have explode off of impact but uh yeah like guys for real don't waste your weapon bribes on this save it for the argus or the m16 or whatever you want because i don't want you guys to go through the pain i went through trying to level this thing up if you happen to get it then you're gonna understand my pain when you pick it up it's gonna be the worst thing to ever exist and uh you're gonna start imagining things like DDTing your Xbox or suplexing your controller like for real for real but anyways hope you guys enjoyed the video subscribe if you're new don't forget to slap on the post notification so you don't miss the latest and the greatest videos and uh, I'll see you later guys peace and right before you guys leave I'm making a class with the operator mod but I didn't use it I was just making it for the video to show you what I'm gonna run so uh, just look at this that's what I'm gonna run and uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video.